But the people we met remain optimistic. We're in Sambro, Nova Scotia, and we're here to meet Boris Worm and Heike Lotz. Their research sounded an alarm. They predicted that all commercial fish docks could collapse within 40 years. It was beginning of 2007. Dad and I went out for sushi, as we always do. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> we were eating our meal, and I said, so Dad, have you read this paper? by Boris Worm, and he said, yeah, I did. And I said, so do you really think that it's true that by 2048, we're gonna have no more fish in the ocean? And he turns to me and he says, yeah, I think it is true. And so I said, well, why are we sitting here then? Why are we having sushi, you know? And, it, and he couldn't answer that question. So at that point, it really um, came home to me that, oh my God, I really gotta start thinking about these issues mm -hmm. because I also work in fishery science. The point of the paper was to explain how the loss of species in the ocean matters to us. And the 2048 prediction was one way of illustrating that, that there's a finite amount of species, and if we lose one by one by one, in the end, there will be nothing left. Mm -hmm. But uh, before, you know, even the people who studied it all the time and knew about the depletions would eat the same fish yeah. for dinner and not make the link to their own personal life. <laughs> yeah, on that note, should we see what we can eat? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I see they have a, a sustainability menu yes. introduced here. Um, I've seen other restaurants that do it, and um, I think that's a good sign. And I see this huge shift in public perception that the ocean is something we really need to take care of. It's not something out there that we can take for granted.